Ah, qui l'a au léché? Elohim, oh, qui l'a au léché? Moni, qui l'a au léché? King of Kings, qui l'a au léché? Eh, n'y t'y est d'un bougoyer, t'y en nous, qui l'a au léché? Baba, mio, qui l'a au léché? Oh, l'or, ou t'aimé, qui l'a au léché? Moni, qui l'a au léché? Ah, Olorun oh awa ki le o le se Yahweh Your name is Yahweh You are the miracle walking God Your name is Yahweh Yahweh oh, Yahweh Idile kan gba iya nu la ro yi Eniyan kan e kan ta gbara Olorun la ro yi a family received the wonder and the miracle of God this, this Sunday morning. <laughs> By virtue of this encounter with God on this church online program, an individual received the touch of the Almighty God, the touch of I am that I am. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Shabby, you are the miracle working God. Yeah, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, oh. Yahweh, ah. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I lift your name higher. 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 God bless you as you have just said. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, great man. God bless you. <laughs> hey, Ibaren, Jesu. I wanted to share this broadcast this morning and invite somebody on board. Listen, you will be doing yourself a classical greatness, a classical good. By inviting someone to be blessed because that fellow will ask you or will come back to you to say thank you. Ah, Motin Robba, me oriru Jesu Yiri, Motin Robba, me oriru Oloru Yiri, Koyi Pokwada, Ojoba Titi Aye, Ajinde Ati Ye, Loni Bobo Go, Motin Robba. Me oriru Jesu yere. Ah, look down upon us, O God, and be merciful unto us, as thou usest to do unto those who love your name. Look down upon me, O God, eh, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those who love your name. Look down upon us, O oh God, oh, and be merciful unto us, as thou usest to do unto those who love your name. Come on, I say, look down upon us, O oh God, oh, and be merciful unto us, ah, as thou usest to do uh, unto those who love your name. Look down upon us, O oh God, oh, and be merciful unto us. As thou usest to do unto those who love your name. Moso aso tele wikpe o yalo shiriri. Bi olu watin beti emirembe. Nikpa se ibakpa di oro lorun la roye aye reko bagbara ishelogo. By a counter with this word of God this morning. Let your life receive the power to become glorious by a counter with the words of Jehovah, with the words of Elohim this morning. May your life receive the strength that is needed to become an achiever in the name of Jesus. I speak to a household. Receive peace. Receive settlement in the name of Jesus. Arakotu idileka. Arako tu eniyaka, eniyaka gba imisi, eni kagba imisi olorun, idile kagba imisi olorun, iwo to nsha mi yen oya lo de ni la, Mikey Fatalia, 
by virtue of the prophetic word, I speak authoritatively that the hands of God is stretched out to lift somebody up. Stretch out to lift up a family. You are lifted from the Mary clay this morning. And you are seated henceforth among kings and princes. Ibita ti sha ologbe loruko Jesu o gba itura. Eh, oba to ngbe kun aladura mo ti de. Hmm. Oba to ngbe kun aladura mo ti de o. Be ja mi ja. Boro mi ro, ma je ngba gba ti adura o. Ah. Oba to ngbe kun aladura mo ti de. Oba to ngbe kun aladura mo ti de o Beja mi ja goro mi ro mam je ngagba ti adura I want somebody to pray to God this morning before I teach the word of God say my father and my god arise on my behalf so get your adura yen baba mi ati olorun mi nitori oro aye mi o ya dide my father and my god arise this Sunday morning on my behalf, let your hands lift me out of the mighty clay and set me in high places. Get your water go for me, Kuroni Poilele. Cosi Bemilo Sibigaoya Sodi Adra, or Conjesu, or Conjesu, near Baran Lati Jesu. I hear I hear in a one, Baba me at your Roman. Did they Nipa Romila Roy arise for the sake of my life? Let your righteous hand, let the right hand of God, that the Bible says, dwell, let, dwell vow, violently, and he dwell valiantly. He lifts up a man. Let that hand lift me up from the mighty clay and place me among kings and princes. I think that is for a family, for somebody. Wait, Baba, the delori or me. Lift me from the floor. Lift me from the mighty clay. Set me on high. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. Let somebody say amen. Let somebody type amen. And so, Almighty God in heaven. I thank you for my life and for the lives of every listener, everyone who is here to have an encounter with you, not an encounter with any man, but an encounter with you, O oh God, and you alone. I thank you because you are set for us. And I ask that as we open the pages of the scripture, let your hands reach out unto every individual, let your hands reach out to every household, every family, that by virtue of this word this morning, O oh God, you will lift us out of every miry clay, and you will set us on high to the glory of your name. Thank you, blessed Father. Let the blessings in your word come unto us. Find us out. Be with us. Become flesh and live with us, within us, in the name of Jesus. All these and many other blessings we ask of you for Christ's sake. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. All right. Welcome to Church Online, brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, ministers of the kingdom. I appreciate you. And for those of you that will watch the catch up later, maybe you are in church early this morning and you, you couldn't uh, be with us live or you've got something to do. You are just returning from work. You did all night and you are sleeping. Whatever that might be the reason why you're not here. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. I want to appreciate your life. Thank you. Thank you for always coming around. 
uh, to enjoy this platform with me together. Uh, I thank God for your life. Like I said, I want to appreciate uh, the admin. They are doing a great job. Uh, and I want to also ask of you, those of you that are regulars here, that always, always make it a point of duty to share this broadcast, to bring somebody to be a partaker of this broadcast every time you are online with us. Hallelujah. This morning, the topic, as you can see, is pinned down already because of these promises. Because of these promises. Because of these promises. Nitori awen liri won yi. Hi. Hmm. Beti she lo jo jo si. E tun le she jube lo. Muni beti she lo jo jo si. E tun le she jube lo. E yi sha. La wi ma ye hun. Mm. And you shall la le we le she. Hmm. And you shall la sorrow mata se. And you ne kan shosho la sorrow mata se o. Ah, we ma ye hun. Che ni yankan le fokan ba mi lo la roi. A bie ni yankan ti e le shi o kare pa yala ti boro ti mo fe sare so yi. Can somebody go with me this morning with the whole of his heart or her heart? Or will there be someone this morning, this Sunday morning, that will open up his heart to hear this very first word I want to speak or say out? Bobby Dadasa, hear me clearly. I went lady will at it to chef me to the Jenny Dada to the Wasi Mushe. I like Bara. Do you do you have some good promises at the tips of your hands, or maybe paraventure somehow someone has told you that listen, it shall be well with you, and you the very first time you heard that word, maybe the person that told you even said God said it, and you've lived like 30 years after that statement has been made. Maybe in the course of those years, those statements were being repeated to your hearing in different locations of the world. And you keep remembering. Many people are saying it. But I remember the very first time. I can even remember the face of the man or the woman that told me. And that man, that woman said, the Lord said... And after 30 years of sojourning, after 30 years of journey, after 14, 15, even some 40 years, you have not even seen the traces of those promises. I congratulate you. <laughs> Can somebody say congratulations to me? If I if you are if you are if you are able to type, say I congratulate myself. Let somebody type, I congratulate myself. Make sure you type well. I will type it myself here. So, I congratulate myself. You can say it with your mouth, and at the same time, you can type it on the screen. I congratulate myself. Do you know the reason why you have to greet yourself? Congratulations this morning. Everything under this sun has a time and a season. Oh, Tita Coco! Oh, Tita Coco! Oh, Tita Coco! Oh, Rore, you die, yo! Malika. You didn't get that. Oh, Tita Coco! All I'm saying is, it is now time. Otita koko, it is time. Otita koko, it is now the time. Ororegbo do da yo, your story must change to that of sweetness and joy. Otimo ve sorry sir, go go ango ileri a yonye. Ti o da benpe koti e suma ti wasi muche. Bi oluwa tim ekanu mama so, bi oluwa tim beti e mirembe. 
gogo ileri ayo ileri ogo ileri is gedide ileri se lola ileri so di nla to ti fe ti gbo to ti da be pe o ti di oro ta so si e sugo ti o ti e ti wa si imuse abi ti o ti e suma ti wa si imuse mo feyin ti agbele bu mo so bi ko lodumare bi oluwa ti nbe ti emi reme gogo ileri ayo na o ya ko di mi muse Every news of joy, every promises of glory, every words of encouragement about the great and mighty things that God has promised you, that you have not even seen the traces of them coming to pass, or that you have not even seen yourself moving closer to fulfillment of such promises. I stand as an ambassador of heaven this morning. I speak in the name of Elohim. I speak on behalf of Jehovah. That in the name of Jesus, right from this moment, fulfillment of those promises begins in your life. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Nothing will change it. No encounter will stop it. The only encounter you have had this morning is the encounter with this world. This world I have spoken now will become flesh. And we live with you. We live within you. And by so doing, those promises of God, those promises of God, will begin to materialize in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It is done. That one is settled. Because of these promises, and I'm going to take you quickly to one, two, three, four, five scriptures. And then we will pray. Just one prayer. The same prayer I have just prayed now. We will now pray generally together. And by the grace of God, by virtue of call, by virtue of being a servant in this kingdom, a Sabbath sent to propagate the truth of the word. I will put authority on that prayer and heaven will stamp it for us. And it shall become a testimony in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I take you to 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. I'm taking you to 2 Corinthians chapter number 7 and verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 Having therefore this not this now this in pura C H E S E this not this having therefore this promises Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. I just read to your hearing, Second Corinthians chapter seven, verse one. It will call it KG. Ori keje ese kini ni tori na enyo lufe enya enyo fe joba oru enyo moloru ni tori na enyi olufe bi ati ni awon ileri won yi eje ki a we ara wa mo kuro ninu gbogbo egbin ti ara ati ti emi ki Brothers and sisters, there are promises that should warrant you and I to embark on a great journey of cleansing ourselves from every filthiness of the body and of the spirit. Toba for kambami lo ni biti mo ti eti kade yi. 
Esa, awon eleri kan wa to ma so eyan di alakikan ju ati eni ti o ni akitiyan. There are some promises that can make a man or a woman become like a warrior, a hard worker, or become like somebody who is no longer a lazy fellow. Meanwhile, at a point in time in the journey of life, you appear to be a lazy man. Let me give you a physical example. If an uncle of yours that you so much trust and believes in, and you are so certain when my uncle says something, he stands by it. He's just an uncle. But you have known him for years. That this uncle is a man of his word. He stands by what he says. And one faithful morning, this uncle gives you a call. And say, in next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, or next week, Sunday, make sure you get to my door by 5 a.m. Because I'm giving to you that day 100 million dollars, 100 million pounds, 100 million euro, 100 million naira, 100 million yen, 100 million whatever currency of the country you are living in. Hallelujah. 100 million Canadian dollars. Amen. And you have been a man or a woman that have been struggling even to take your daily meal. And naturally, hear my word, naturally, you are not an early riser. You are a person that maybe go to bed late regularly. And therefore, you are not an early riser. The earliest you have ever woken up from bed is 7 a.m. But here is an uncle who wants you at his door by 5 a.m. How many of you will make that journey? <laughs> How many of you will get to your uncle's door by 5 a.m.? Naturally, you don't wake up until 7 a.m. But you know your uncle, you know him. How many of you will get to that uncle's door by 5 a.m.? <laughs> I think I will. Hallelujah. And I think you will. <laughs> Amen. You are getting the word. Having this promise, I went, let it go, what I to bodo mu agbe igbese lati we ara wa mo ninu ara ati ninu emi kuro ni awon egbin egbin ta foriko abi egbin ta ye da si wa lara do you know why a lot of us in this kingdom are not working so hard to purify ourselves both in spirit and in flesh we are not conscious we have not been brought to the consciousness we have not been brought to consciousness of some promises of God. Esa, ta wen leri oloro kan, to ba di gban kog bi lo kan yan, e yan di de alon wèl kan ti araman. The Bible says in this 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1, that we just read, Having therefore, beloved, these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves. There are some promises that should make you, or that will make you, or that we warrant, and I will prefer to use the word warrant, that we necessitate that you take a step to clean yourself, both in spirit and in body. I perceive in my soul that many of us are not fully aware, or we are aware but we are not conscious, or we are not being brought to remembrance of these promises on a daily basis, either by studying the word, or in the churches, in the place of worship, where we go, we are not, these things are not being hammered, are not being uh, uh, pinpointed, are not being, you know, uh, announced. The picture of it is not being painted in your heart. If this is being done, sir, it will become a natural phenomenon for you and I to take a step to clean ourselves both in spirit and in body. Can I show you one or two of these promises that were answered this, this very first sentence in chapter 7? Where Apostle Paul said clearly, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse our what are these promises that Paul is making them to that 
with these promises that we have, beloved, we've got to go ahead and purify ourselves, both in spirit and in body. What are these promises? Can you jump quickly backwards? If you talk, that's why like I work on for so dear. Okay, dear young nipple, for see chapter six and the last few verses there. That's in second Corinthians, chapter six, verse 16 to verse 18. These were the promises of God that made Paul to say in chapter 7, verse 1, that after these promises that has been made to us, Esa, we've got to go ahead and clean ourselves, both in spirit and in body. Some of you are so dirty. That's why you are not seeing these promises coming to pass. That's why I'm going this morning. After the way I'm going, there is, your, your spirit is dirty. Some of you, you are dirty, but because you put on suit, you put on white, you don't... Some of you, you actually know that you are dirty, but they've made you feel good. What? what they've given you kaleidoscopic Christianity. They've given you abracadabra style of Christianity. They've made you feel good in church. That's why I tell people, if you want to know God, find God in this world. And by also speaking to him in prayer. After you have discovered God, then go to church. Many people run to church to find God. Unfortunately, they ended up finding the daughters of men. And they became idol worshippers. I know what I am saying. is the majority of people in church, the day in our generation, they don't know God. God do not know them. In fact, the people leading them do not even know God. The Almighty God do not know them. That's why Jesus said they will be they will behave as if they are shocked. They are not shocked because they know in their heart, but they will pretend and behave as if they were shocked. At the end, when Jesus will tell them, I know you not, you workers of iniquity. Because they will, but because people will be there. So they will tell Jesus, Come on, what are you saying? You don't know me. I preach, I did a lot of miracles in your name. Jesus will say, I knew. But I don't know you. And they, funny enough, these people know that God do not know them. But they don't want you to know that God do not know them. Because you have become a useful tool in their hands. Unfortunately, it's because you have refused to make the word of God, the Bible, a book that you will read, you will study, and you will actually desire to seek out God. You go there for you go to church for social gathering to meet with friends. You go to church to please the man that has become in quote your father. To please that you don't go there to seek after. If you go there to seek after God, you will see the errors that is being spoken now that are not God's word that they have pre presented to you as God's words. Because if you have been you have been taught, you have been hit. On a constant basis with the new word of God, sir, you will run, you will fly, you will pursue to make sure your soul is cleansed and your body is cleansed, especially as a result of these promises. Because those promises will not materialize in your life. Those promises will not come to reality in your life if you don't get yourself cleansed, both in body and in spirit. But what are these promises, sir? Kill and when leading here to necessitate. What are these promises that necessitate, that warrant, that be, makes it become necessary, compulsory, that you and I should go ahead to cleanse ourselves? Let me show you uh, periphery of it. Just to Second Corinthians, put it on the screen. Chapter six, verse sixteen to eighteen. Second Corinthians, chapter six, verse sixteen. Through to 18. And what agreement has, has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Number one. You. Look at yourself and tell yourself, me, a building. Habitation for the most holy God. Aha, thank God. I can I feel it in my spirit. I somebody's spirit just I mean somebody's heartbeat just increased just now. I am the big beam. I said your heartbeat became so heavy. 
for that imagination. I see me, a dwelling place for God, for the Most High, for Elohim, for I am that I am. I see mo ibiti eni to la yi oto run fe ma gbe eh se pelu bi mo se ri that's what i'm saying se pelu bi mo se se as in with the way i am with the way i behave with with this kind of surroundings i live habitation of the most holy god the one that the bible says he dwells in a light that is unapproachable my key fatalia and don't be in new man let in your call this one if the light is so much that that light bible calls it an unapproachable light on friday kiki mole what one be in new man let in your call this one rabbi let's go on sir hey you are the temple of the living god as god has said i will dwell in them and walk in them i will be their god and they shall be my people let me pause on that verse 18 i mean verse 16. when i started this i made reference to you having an uncle that you can that you feel you can depend on don't forget that your uncle is a human being he's a man that can disappoint it's a man that circumstances of life can truncate his promises to you. But because of the promise of a hundred million in your currency, you are not an early riser, but you agreed with me that you will get there for that five. At least you know that this will change your life in terms of physical circumstances, in terms of your finances. So you will get there to meet up with the timing of your uncle. How much more? And to that year, to and to the so and to the dear me, on when you come and me molest, I can't sorry. How much more that one that give it life to that your uncle, that even give it life to you yourself. Ha! Agba ra reti po ju. Let me shake pe yin ni olorun mi. Agba ra yin ti po ju baba. Let me see if you see all of me. Oh, ah, I'm all in it for you. Let me see if you see all of me. Let me see if you see all of me. Let me see if you see all of me. Listen to me this morning. Verse seventeen. Wherefore, I'm still on Second Corinthians. Chapter 6. Now I'm reading verse 17. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Say the Lord and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you. Verse 6, verse 18. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord God Almighty. Can I repeat that verse 18 to your hearing? Emi yo si je baba fun yi, e yo si je omo kuni mi, ati omo biri mi. Li Oluwa Olodumare Omba Wonwi. What a promise. God making himself becoming your biological father. When you and I know that he is not a biological father. You know what God is saying? The kind of adoption that is giving you and I we turn your DNA to become at par with the God of heaven. If you and I could so develop a faith and a trust in our uncles because of a promise of a hundred million cash money in any currency, knowing fully well that it will better our business, our endeavors, our way of living. Hallelujah. And naturally, we are not an early riser. And we rise to the occasion to get there at the point of 
appointment 5 a.m. Sir, and to near your own. Oh, she lady, a lady loro yo. It's not a verdict. This is a promise that I will be your God. I will be your father. And you will be my son. And you will be my daughter. Say the Lord God Almighty. And then you can only go to you. We do it. No one can confront him. Esa, are you thinking, are you following my thought process? Can you ask yourself some questions? Why is it that enemies attack you and the attack comes in and you are down? Why is it that evil comes around you and there is no enough power, no strength, as a matter of nothing in you or around you that repels evil away? Meanwhile, these things that comes around you and I cannot come around Elohim. Ayaki Fatah. Did you hear me? It those things that comes around us to weigh us down, to destroy us, to steal our joy, to oppress us, to press us down, whether it in the physical, whether in this dream, in the spiritual, whether in our in our dream world or in our physical world, those things that come upon us that oppresses our soul, that oppresses your business, that oppresses your family, those enchantments and divinations concocted and created by the powers of darkness, those things cannot find success around Elohim. They can't come, they can't approach the unapproachable light. And that light is saying you will become an, 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 an adopted son, an, an adopted daughter. Your DNA will become his DNA. And these words are not verdicts. These are promises. It was this promise that made Paul to cry to the Corinthians. Brethren, beloved, and you look at me, and you are your friend, and you are a chef, borrowing, and a lady loroi, Nick lady ye, oh, ye kawa tiraka, lati we are our crew, ninui dotiara at it, ye me. I showed you the promise. Are you going to take step? To cleanse your flesh. Somebody will say, yes, but how? Let me let me let me show you that and I, and I will stop there. Galatians. Before I go to Galatians, let me show you a scripture. Romans. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans 8, verse 19. The Bible says in Romans 8, 19, for the earnest expectation. Of the Creole creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. Romans 8 19. The world is lost. The world is in chaos, and we keep going into more and much chaos. And the world knows that. The government of the world is a failure. So they are waiting for the time the sons and the daughters of God will be revealed, will be made manifest. They need rescue. Our world needs rescue. But listen, it's only sons and daughters of God that will be revealed, that will become a rescue to this world. You are ten children. I are ten children. Are you a son? Am I a son? Have you been adopted? Have I been adopted? Is your DNA now reading that of the Almighty God? Is my DNA now reading that of the Almighty God? The only time this can happen is to let this promise of God that He will become our Father to become a body in us so much that it will propel us to cleanse ourselves. Do you know why? This Almighty will not do it. In this dirty container. And when he dwells. When and if he not dwells. No enchantment sir. No divination. No power of darkness. No sickness. No ailment. No devil. Can come around you. And find success. No way. No way, sir. You are completely cut out from the activities of darkness and its powers. The reason why you and I are still subject to these things once in a while, or some of you constantly, is because 
we have not considered consciously God's promises and work towards making sure we cleanse ourselves from flesh and from the spirit, from the deaths in ourselves, both in spirit and in the flesh. Do you know what the whole world is waiting for you? It will I end road day. If what are you one road day? Oh, I knew it. I ain't road day. Okay, one new day. But it's to a yes, I was speaking to one father, one of our one of the fathers of faith yesterday, and we're discussing about one of the beliefs of a particular denomination that believes that they will be the one to cleanse the world. And uh, it was almost turned into a bit of argument, and the daddy told me, oh, Pastor, let's forget that. But she really, eh? Moko, if you don't feel it, because I'm like, I'm like, hallelujah. But listen to me. Do you think he will reduce his standard because of you? Or because there is a promise that you will cleanse the world? But to look at the actually, you will not wear a yema. Or you will not wear a standard there was there because of you, with this kind of lifestyle you are living. With this kind of debt, 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 debt you're, you're washing your dirty linen outside. With this kind of uh, terrible, I tell you, I want, 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 I want to go on the mountain and one mountain if they are deceiving you and they will deceive you. You do not, don't deceive yourself. Go after God's world so that you will not be deceived. You will become a victim. Everyone that is deceived will become a victim. I'm not surprised when the scripture says. Few will find this way. Only dear came by Loma Riona, look the Malerion. As a matter of fact, I, I know and I understand that few will be saved. But do you know that everyone can be saved if everyone decides? Take a conscious decision. That means the Nick Bakuri Miton. I won't be deceived. And listen, if you are deceived. You are already in deceit. You will be a victim at the end. You will be a victim. You are already even a victim because you are in deception. Hallelujah. Verse 22 of that same Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 22. Let me read that to you again. Romans chapter 8. We just read verse 19. That says the whole world is waiting for you. Look at verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travelleth in pain together even not now di bi mo se soro yi gbo ti be so oni tori awa mo pe gbogbo eda li onju mo kerora ti o si nro bi po titi disis yi the world is groaning and this groan is waiting for the manifestation of a son or a daughter of the Most High. Who is that son? Who is that daughter? The one that has been adopted. And who is that one that will be adopted? The one that has consciously put on the tables of his heart the promises of God. It's not an order. It's a promise. And as a result, that's why the topic is because of this promises we should go ahead it is time to cleanse yourself from the filthiness of the flesh what are the filthiness of the flesh what are the filthiness of the flesh very simple galatians chapter 5 we all know this we read it but we always read it in the surface galatians chapter 5 from verse 19 to 21 galatians chapter 5 from 19 to 21. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. Do you know the meaning? They are made clear. You can't pretend not to know. Anything, the works of the flesh, they are clear. They are obvious. The blind can see them. The deaf can hear them. The one that can't smell anything can smell them. The works of the flesh. I went shed tear up. Oh, man, Farah, Kopama, Kuaninui, Koko, Kishikatomasope, oh, man. 
It's made money, but it's real. It's made beer. I'm reading to your hearing. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. You must cleanse yourself from the filthiness of the flesh. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. I will just read it and we'll explain it. Because you and I know this thing. But let's take time to meditate on it. If these things are in my life, I won't be adopted. Hello, he will not dwell in me. I cannot be living a pretentious life that is dwelling in me. I can be living an abracadabra life. I can be living a shouting life, a noise life. You know, create kaleidoscope. Resolve beautiful clothes, you know, colorful clothes. Put colorful chains and wave hands, wave legs, jump up. Use good shoes. People dress well and they come and appear to you and say, Ah, look at what God is doing. You do the same thing God would do. It's a lie. If you got a good job and you are well paid, you will go to the shop, you will get good suit and good and good shoe. Why bring it and say, This is how I want you to be? And you can only be like this. Like, look at me. When you come to God, you are a liar. You are not in God. God doesn't even know you. Stop deceiving the people. And you people refuse to be deceived. Find God through his word. Have a personal encounter with the king of kings. You must have a one-on-one -on -one conviction that you are a part of the I am that I am. You are a part of his kingdom. Oh God, only personal conviction. Not what somebody is singing or shouting over the puppet deceiving you and you are jumping up and down. Play drums, play guitar, play gun, gun, play all this. When you see instrument to make noise, make the place so loud, so rowdy, so noisy, and it's not feel, oh, ah, today is all people sweat. You have just done exercise. Jesus says, I don't know you. The essence of this is for you to have an encounter with God this morning. Now I'm a son of God. So that God can make you manifest. So that God can reveal you. You are a rescuer. You are a saver. You are a savior. You are an extension of the hand of God on earth. You are not supposed to be a bench warmer. Every one of us in this kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's read Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. Then we pray our one prayer. Hallelujah. Galatians, we've seen the promise because of these promises. Let's cleanse ourselves from this thing that we want to read now. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Now, the works of the flesh are made manifest, which are these adultery. Fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, rot, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, murders. Drunkenness, revelings, and such like of these. At ya one can bear bell one list yet. The list is not exclusive, it's not completed. And such things as these that I have told you before. Many more of these things that are not even listed. Which one are you into? If you don't cleanse yourself from these things. You are only saying, Elohim, I know you are Elohim. I am that I am. I know you are God. I know you are Yahweh. But don't bother to adopt me. Don't bother to make me a son. Don't bother to make me a daughter. Brothers and sisters, you will only be part of a crowd, making noise, singing, praising, and promises of God will not come to pass in your life. I said in the church one time, and I think they got angry. I will remind you of that. I will say that word this morning. So that, just for you to go and think. The Bible says in Malachi, we all know, Abi, I mean, the scripture that we use to get tithes from you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the scripture says, bring your tithe into the storehouse and use it to test God, whether he will not open the windows of heaven and bless you with a blessing that there will not be room enough for you to contain it, to take it. Those of you who have paid tithe for one year, 
two years, those of us that have paid it for 20 years, answer this question sincerely. Have you seen God's blessing in such a way that there is no room in your life to contain them? Oh, Raya, Malati, could bless your Lord. As a matter of fact, you are even telling God, God, stop, please stop. I don't have space. Where would I put your blessing? My life is over full with your blessing. How many people can say that? Genuinely and sincerely. Something is wrong with humanity. You are being deceived and you are deceiving yourself. Did you ask? Did you hear the question I asked? Yes. No, I'm not talking of those of us who are not faithful to Titan. Those of us who have not been praying it. Before there was crisis of Titan all over. I already have understanding of these things long ago before social media ran up. Yes, sir. I search for God's truth and I'm happy I'm knowing it. That's why I make it a point of duty. Whenever I bring you God's word, I want it to be nothing but the truth. It might not go well with you. Some of it will go well, but let me go. Let me be sincere with you. But that truth has to be said. And then sometimes when I finish saying that truth, I will not go back and begin to pursue it myself. I won't say because I fall short, I will now I will now use that to cover to rob. To be like ah, or him a fair, or my oh, me gun, me me open by you. Can walk forward, bolo. You know, no, I will be walking towards death, towards my death, eternal death, and I don't want that. I don't want to be annihilated from God. I don't want anything to cut me away from God in eternity. No. Peter told him, where are we going to go? You have the words of eternal life. We have to be with you. We don't have, there's no second chance, second choice for us. I don't have a second option. Who will I go to? Who will I follow? No, no way. It's a concluded case. So I'm not talking to perfect people, but I'm talking to you that you can become a perfect man, a perfect woman. You can grow into that stream, that stream, into that land. You can go so deep in God's word that God will say, you are my son in the... You can be adopted into this family of God I'm talking about. I know what I'm saying. If, like I ask, none of you can say, Esa, you are right. I have even told God to stop blessing me because I don't have space to put his blessing. As a result of your tithing. But that was the word. That used it to test God whether he will not bless you. To the extent that there will not be room to contain it, to take it. Don't let me stop me. But that is God's promise. That is what he said. That should tell you, that should set you think, something is wrong. Do you know what people that, the leadership of the church, you know what they now say? I've had it in so many places. When you want to go check, will you check yourself? If you have actually paid your time and you have not seen those blessings, that there is no room, check yourself. Check on from one. And it also on everyone, check on from Check on see to bless this one right here. And I got me. He's stressing, she's stressing. They are struggling, but they are just making sure that the ones coming from you is not going to stop. Madness. We've turned church to business. It should be business, but not mass business. It's God's business. And God's business is the business of soul. Did you hear me? God's business is business of soul. Because in the commodity world, the real commodity on the table in the market is your soul. And I pray, your soul will not be lost. I believe it strongly within me this morning that somebody had had an encounter with God. Somebody found God from this world because of this promise. The prayer we are going to pray. Don't forget, make sure you begin to walk to cleanse yourself of filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit so that you can become an achiever in line with this God's promises. But the prayer we want to pray is this. All what job Daddy, I beg you. Almighty God, I beg you. I appeal to you. I, I, I come to you humbled in the name of your son, Yehushua. In the name of Jesus. Please, oh God, let the promises of joy, those good promises, 
Teti miti boli, eje wasi mouje. Let it come to fruition. Let it come to manifestation. Let me see them in manifestation. Ye kaye mi badwe liri a yore. Did you hear that? If you heard me, wherever you are, if this, if you are here now, or this preaching comes to your table, somebody share this broadcast to you, or what prevent you, you now waited till the end to this moment, say that prayer, no matter the day, the time, the year, the season, that this broadcast comes to your table, say, oh God, I humble myself before you, Elohim, I beg you, I am that, I am beg you, Lord, you are your shame, mommy, Lara. Mumma, we eighty eighty borrow ya your country. Your ears have had one news of joy before. Your ears must have had one good promise. If you've not had anyone before, you had one this morning. He said, I will be your God and you will be my son. It's a promise. Say, Baba Muliria, you is Shemomilara. Let this promise come to manifestation in my life. Upon my business, let your promises manifest. Upon my family, let your promises manifest. Upon my children, for example, you have had it. They preach it to you. They pray it for you. When you all go go moto tiara, I just they all go ni wo. But I want me also go now. When you cut up bad that way, you receive it. Oh, this business go yori now. Oh, when you eat bereli kiko eli pari eh. Eti abado eh. Enu mi gan bereli abo tani. But those super well swimming, you look tiny and let me take big things. These are just nose diving, going down the drain. Say, Daddy, a jerky lady, your shame, my lara, adura, or for Jesus. Mom, but I mean, you know, but you know, I'm praying my prayers in the name of Jesus. I'm going back to another man, Barney. So pray, don't look at me now. Pray, say, Daddy, Mom, lady, your shame, my lara. Let the promises of joy, the promises of promotion, the promises of excellence, let it come to pass in my life. The Bible says I will be head and not tail, but tail is lower. Last but not be a wagon man now. He will deal lower or deoriri. Or was get in the area your shame, my lara. Man, kato fatalia. Mu in the area your shame. Mu in the area. Let your promises by Thursday, by grace of God, I will make sure we have a live broadcast by 5 p.m. UK time or maybe 5:30, depending on my work schedule. I want us to pray this prayer very well. On Thursday, so don't miss it. We're going to pray on Thursday this week, Thursday, by the grace of God, either 5 p.m. or half 5 UK time. Just be ready by 5 because normally the broadcast is fine, but because of what's work schedule, it might be half 5. Say, My Father, my God, let the promises of goodness, Ileria, you you've heard it before. Oti, you want to be more, you want to profess that you will be a mother, you'll be a joyful. Isn't this in the, the scripture? Only let the body rejoice because she shall become a mother of children. But up till now, you are not a mother of even one child. See, daddy, I have I bring myself as I am. We are a bit more. We are a bit more. We are a bit more. Let the promise of God let it manifest in my life. Your promises that I will excel. Let me excel. Your promise I will be the head. Let me be the head. To but your only list of promises here, man. Only come as far as you are. Ileri, Ileri, do not Ileri are you? Because God's promises are good promises. We are more share more, let your promises come to pass. The ones I've, I've had already, the ones that have been told, the ones I've not even been told that but you have promised. Do you have to say something for me? 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 Baba, mi gbogbo eto ma gboro eto le ma gbadura kon le mo pe fun oro yin ran mi ki se fun ogo mi o fun ogo ruko yin emi o le gba ogo yin i cannot take your glory for your own glory for the sake of your name let those promises of joy those promises of goodness let it be made manifest in their life in the name of joy let them enjoy the manifestation of your promises gbogbo aye ti le ri o se ile rere o se mo la ri nipa se oro je ki le rere rere se mo la ra je ki le rere rere ko se in the name of you, let your promises show for let it show for let it be made manifest in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, I thank you. I commit your children into your hands. I decree as they have prayed. Let it be unto them in the name of Jesus. Be what is solar or ye, Mofia Shay, ye see Lori, Tori Pia Fioro, you know me, Jackia Sheko Basuria Drama, Jackia Baraka Kokoma, Yadrana Bada, 
I decree that what you have asked, what you have said, will become a living testimony for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Unfortunately, if you have been watching me and you didn't pray, there's nothing I can do. You have you, What I did was put authority to that which you have prayed. And I tell you, it will not change. So if you have not prayed, you can go back to pray and then come and receive the authority that I have already placed on it because it won't change. And whichever time, season in life that this video comes across you, pray that prayer, receive the authority in faith, and you will see what will happen in your life. I appreciate you. I thank you. And I want to wish you happy Sunday. God bless you. Till I see you again. If you don't forget, and I don't want you to forget, by the grace of God, hopefully, Thursday, we'll be praying. 5 p.m. UK time. If it's going to be a bit late, maybe half five, it won't exceed it. Get ready for it, and the Lord will bless you. And the prayer we are praying is what you have started today. We are not teaching. That prayer is manifestation of the promises of God. We may, we may end up looking at one or two more promises of God, and then we use it to pray. We want to apply them into our lives. It is time for us to actually be real representative of heaven. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done. There is a will of God that needs to be showcased to the world. And it can be showcased through birds, goats. It will be showcased through you. Through you. God's wealth, God's healing, God's prosperity, God's promotion, God's power will only be showcased to the world through you. I said through you. God bless you. My name is Kula Moshe. I'm your friend. I'm your brother. God bless you. Happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy the rest of the month. And the Lord bless you richly good in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye for now.